Today on MTG Unpacked, it's time for a double dose of chaos. That's right, we're cracking open two chaos mystery boxes here for patrons. And these things are my vision of how a chaos mystery box should be. So let's introduce the patrons. We have Benjamin Sullivan and Jonathan Vogel saying. All right, so let's roll one through five here. So number five goes to Benjamin and Jonathan. Number two. Okay, so let's set the rest aside for future videos. And we'll get cracking here for Benjamin. Thank you for being a patron, sir. Alrighty, what do we have in the theme this month? In case you weren't aware, is Behemoths Part 2. Okay, we have Modern Horizons, Ixalan. Rivals of Ixalan. Ooh, a very spicy meatball. We'll take a look at that in a moment. Another Rivals. Okay. Guilds and Theros. Okay, so let's do a little bit of a sandwich like so. And take a look at this a very spicy foil. I think this is the best one this month. So boost that exposure a little bit. There we go, we have Kuzalek, Butcher of Truth. Legendary creature Eldrazi, it's a mythic. 12-12 for 10 mana, craziness. When you cast Kuzalek, Butcher of Truth, draw four cards. He has Annihilator 4 whenever this creature attacks. Defending player sacrifices four permanents. And when Kozalek is put into a graveyard from anywhere, its owner shuffles his or her graveyard into his or her library. Look at that foliage, fantastic. All right. <clears throat> Starting off here with Ixalan and the patrons get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck. Good luck, Benjamin. Starting off here with Sunrise Seeker, Desperate Castaways, Sun Crowned Hunters, Vampire Zeal, Jade Guardian, One with the Wind. Grazing Whiptail, Gilded Sentinel, Unfriendly Fire, Cancel, an Uncommon's Verdant Rebirth, a Danto Vanguard, that was a good one back in the day, Call to the Feast, and a rare, ooh, nice pull, Dragon Skull Summit, it's a land and it's a bad full tap, unless you control a swamp or a mountain, you can tap it for black or red. Alright, nice artwork there, and a Forest and Vampire token. <clears throat> On to Rivals. So looking for some uh, giant dinos here. We have a Sun Colored Raptor, Legion Conquistador, Crashing Tide, Fathom Fleet Border, Hardy Veteran, Strider Harness, Water Knot, Arazka Relic, Gruesome Fate, Secrets of the Golden City, An Uncommon's Reckless Rage, Enter the Unknown. Thrashing Brontodon and a Mythic. Nice. Twilight Prophet. Creature Vampire Cleric 2444 with flying has Ascend. So if you control 10 or more permanents, you get the city's blessing for the rest of the game. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you have the city's blessing, reveal the top card of your library and put it into your hand. Each opponent loses X life and you gain X life where X is that card's converted mana cost. I think at the pre release event, I got this particular card, so I was very happy about that. Love the artwork. Seb McKinnon, of course. All right. And a Plains and Treasure token. More Rivals. Okay, so it's going to be tough to beat that Mythic. Let's see what we get. Moment of Triumph. Crashing Tide. Arezka Raptor. Naturalize. Dusk Laden Zealot. Strider Harness. Jungleborn Pioneer. Gruesome Fate, Deadeye Rig Hauler, Mutiny, and Uncommon's Highland Lake, Sea Red. That's one of those fake blue monkey goblins. Not really impressed with those. They are no goblins at all, if you ask me. Siren Reaver, and another Mythic. What are the chances? Zakama, Primal Calamity, Legendary Creature, Elder Dinosaur, 9949. With Vigilance, Reach, and Trample when it ends the battlefield, if you cast it, untap all lands you control for 2 and a red. It deals 3 damage to target creature for 2 and a green. Destroy target artifact or enchantment for 2 and a white. You gain 3 life. 
All right, very cool island and merfolk token. So we're doing very nicely today for Benjamin, which means naturally that there's going to be a shock land in this pack. I at least hope so. We have a radical idea, ornery goblin creature, goblin warrior. Yes, we do love the goblins here. Loxodon Restorer, Demir Informant, Burglar Rat, and the rats too. Pax Favor, Child of Night, Urban Utopia, Dead Weight, Undercity Uprising, and Uncommon's Justice Strike, Wee Dragonauts, Pelfering Imp, and rare is Swift Blade Vindicator, Creature Human Soldier 1 1 for 2 with Double Shape Vigilance and Trample. Which is, yeah, that's quite a menu of options there. Demir, Gilgate, and an Angel token. On to Theros Beyond Death. So, hoping for a Titan, obviously, we have Indomitable Will. Or a God, I'd settle for that. Naiad of Hidden Coves, Underworld Rage Hound, Heliod's Pilgrim, Lampad of Death's Vigil, Nexus Wardens. Temple Thief, Nylea's Forerunner, Pious Wayfarer, Irreverent Revelers, and Uncommon's Hero of the Nyxborn. Sage of Mysteries, Favoured of Eros, and rare is Dalakos, Crafter of Wonders. The a creature mofo artificer 2, 4, 3. So you tap to add two colorless mana, spend this mana only to cast artifact spells or activate abilities of artifacts. Equip creatures you control have Flying and Haste. Name Mountain and Pegasus token. <clears throat> Final pack, Modern Horizons. We are looking for Ren and Stimpy here, people. You know who I'm talking about, and if you don't, oh boy. Hopefully we can show you what they look like. We get a Foil Illusion token. That's pretty cool. I've checked that in as well. Umazawa's Charm, I believe. Yes. Snow-Covered Forest. And, oh, a Foil Reign of Revelation. What's it going to be? It is Force of Virtue, enchantment for four. If it's not your turn, you may exile a white card from your hand rather than pay the spell's mana cost. Has flash, creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and some very cool artwork there. And Uncommon's Vespalark, Wing Shards, Exclude. And Common's Settle Beyond Reality, Stream of Thought, Excavating Anurid, Orcish Hellraiser, Umazawa's Charm, there is again, Twin Silk Spider, Reprobation, Choking Tethers, Spinehorn Minotaur, and that is it. Alright, so we'll pop these in here for you, Benjamin. Thank you for being a patron once again. And someone was asking, do I think I'll put uh, double Masters packs in here? I think that's highly unlikely, especially if they're going for like 30 bucks a pop, so... That could be a little too much. Okay. Jonathan Vogel sang. You're up next, sir. Thank you for being a patron. If I can ever line up the knife. There we go. Let's see what we get in the second chaos box. Okay, so Modern Horizons per usual. Oh, Khans. Okay, I forgot I had some Khans left. Guilds. Oh, a very spicy meatball. We'll take a look at that in a moment. Two Core 2020 and Theros Beyond Death. So let's do like a a uh, sandwich of Core 2020 like so. Take a look at this spicy foil. Have not seen this guy in a while. Carnage Tyrant Foil. Creature Dinosaur, it's a mythic. And you can see this is stamped with the pre-release date there. 7-6 for 6 mana. Carnage Tyrant can't be counted. As trample and hex proof. Look at that magnificent beast. Okay, so there we are, Jonathan. Enjoy. All right, core 2020, which is almost old hat at this point. The spoilers for core 2021 should be starting within another couple of weeks or sooner. All right, we have disenchant, anticipate, fire elemental, inspired charge, thicket crasher. Blood Burglar, Maniacal Rage, Boneclad Necromancer, Dawning Angel, Rabid Bite, Uncommons, Cryptic Caves, Yarox Wave Crusher, Diamond Knight, and rare is Vilis, Broker of Blood, Legendary Creature, Demon 8-8, 4-8 mana with Flying, Pay a Black, Pay 2 Life, 
Target creature gets minus one, minus one until end of turn, and whenever you lose life, draw that many cards. Alright. Now, Rugged Highlands and Wolf Token. On to some cards. Hoping for the fetch land, like always, we have Act of Treason, Woolly Loxodon, Defiant Strike, Trumpet Blast, Molting Snakeskin, Skullkin, Treasure Cruise, Rugged Highlands, Freet Weapon Master, Lens of Clarity, An Uncommon's Blinding Spray, Swarm of Bloodflies, High Spire Mantis, and the rare is Howl of the Horde. What is happening here? This guy spewing out lightning from his mouth, that's a bit odd. Sorcery for three, when you cast your next instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy, and has raid. If you attack with a creature this turn, when you cast your next instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell an additional time. You may choose new targets for the copy. With a swamp, and are you new to magic? Leave a note in the comments. You probably did not start playing around core 2015 or M15 as they call it. But if you did, I would be curious to know what you thought of that set. Okay, next up we have some Theros Beyond Death, Leonin of the Lost Pride, Naiad of Hidden Coves, Hero of the Games, Indomitable Will, Moss Viper, Scavenging Harpy, Mogus's Favor, Captivating Unicorn, Pious Wayfarer, Warbriar Blessing, Uncommon's Entrancing Layer, Phalanx Tactics, Lothus's design and a mythic Polyokranos Unchained, a literary creature, zombie hydra, zero zero for four. So it enters battlefield with six plus one plus one counters on it and it escapes with twelve plus one plus one counters on it instead. That is madness. If damage would be dealt to Polyokranos while it has a plus one plus one counter on it, prevent that damage or remove that many plus one plus one counters from it. So for one black and a green, it fights another target creature, escape for four black and green, exile six other cards from your graveyard. Alright, very nice pull there, and a mountain and zombie token, I'll put that in as well. Very cool zombie, a little bit different than the usual. Okay, guilds. We have Shore Strike. Collar the Culprit, and I'm skipping cards. So exciting, Dazzling Lights, Cruel Foragers, Luminous Bonds, Vanadi Shieldmate, Piston Fist Cyclops, Pitiless Gorgon, Hammer Dropper, and Uncommon's Conclave Cavalier, Plague Crafter, Good for Battle, and another Mythic Dream Eater, Creature Nightmare Sphinx. 4-3 for 6 with Flash and Flying when it enters Battlefield, Surveil 4 when you do, you may return target an online permanent an opponent controls to its owner's hand. So to surveil four, look at the top four cards of your library, then put any number of them into your graveyard and rest on top of your library in any order. And a foil book devourer. There I am again, devouring the books. And a Boris Goodgate and Elf Knight token. So doing very well with the mythics today, I will say. Let's hope that trend continues. With Core 2020, we have Daybreak Chaplain, Metropolis Sprite, Audacious Thief, Vorst Claw, Cloud Seer, and these cards are stuck together. I swear there was something wrong with that uh, box. Destructive Dino Creature Goblin, nice. Griffin Protector, Stone Golem. Yeah, they're literally stuck together at the top. Okay, Leaf Can Druid, Frost Lynx. An Uncommon's Rapacious Dragon, Corpse Knight, not the misprint, alas. Goblin Ringleader Creature, Goblin and the Rare. Oh, that's a nice one. Graph Digger's Cage, Artifact for one, Creature Cards and Graveyards and Libraries can't enter the battlefield. Players can't cast spells from Graveyards or Libraries. So some good Graveyard hate there. A Mountain and Soldier Token. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Okay, so we have an elemental foil. Okay, I'll put that in. Sword of something and something else. Truth and Justice, Snow Covered Mountain. And yes, you guessed right, we're going to slow roll things here. Okay, we have an uncommon Lonely Sandbar. 
Sling Gang Lieutenant Creature Goblin, and that looks like a very fun ride there for the Goblins. Thundering Jin and Commons a regular cohort. Geomancer's Gambit, Spring Bloom Druid, Arkham's Astrolabe. I'll chuck that in as well. I'm not sure if it's worth anything much these days, but whatever. Pondering Mage, Wart High Witch Creature Goblin Shaman, Winding Way, Trustworthy Scout, Fairy Seer, and Bladeback Sliver. Now, we are really hoping for a Ren and Stimpy. What's it going to be? No, it is not. Future Sight. It's an enchantment for five. Play with the top card of your library revealed. You may play the top card of your library. Okay, so there we have it, Jonathan. Enjoy the pools this month. And of course, you've got the dirty big carnage tyrant there. So pop these in here. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching. And have a great day.